you will undoubtedly come across some form of clipping distortion when editing or mixing dialogue for film, TV, or online media content. Clipping in dialogue recordings is usually a consequence of a lack of headroom in the recording equipment, and the result is a harsh distortion that increases in intensity as the clipping becomes more pronounced. Cedar D-Clip 2 repairs clipped audio irrespective of whether the clipping occurred in the analog or digital domains. First, you must identify the amplitude at which clipping has occurred. The display on D-Clip 2 shows a sample density curve. When the audio is clipped, this curve displays peaks at one or both edges. In the case of digital clipping, the peaks will be sharp and well-defined. If the clipping has occurred in the analog domain, the peaks will be more rounded. To set the clip detectors, use both controls so that the markers are just inside the sample values at which clipping has occurred. In many cases, you will see that there are values that differentiate the damaged data in the peaks from the good data inside them. These values are often the ideal places to position the markers. There is also an auto function that allows the algorithm to determine the optimum detector values. This will also track any changes in the clipping level which is particularly useful if dynamics processes have been applied to the audio after the clipping occurred. The peak level of the signal will increase when clipped audio is restored, so D-Clip 2 has a gain control that allows you to optimize the level after processing, preventing the repaired signal from clipping again at the output. How would switching bank accounts affect my credit score? How would switching bank accounts affect my credit score? How would switching bank accounts affect my credit score? How would switching bank accounts affect my credit score? Cedar D-Clip 2, it's a remarkable process that successfully repairs analog and digital clipping and restores your audio with the minimum of fuss and user intervention.